Hi friends, it's Ms. Shakaya here, and I am so excited to be hanging out with you guys today. I think you're really gonna love our Bible story today. What do you guys think it is? Well, I brought three clues that might help you. Let's see, we have two friends, a friendship bracelet, and some wheat. Oh no, friends, what's happening to our clues? Hmm, I wonder who could help us find them. Oh, I know, our friend Chance. But I don't see Chance anywhere. Boys and girls, can you guys help me call for our new friend Chance? Yes. Great. To call for Chance, cup your hands like this and say, roll the dice, give it a throw, call for Chance, and watch him go. Friends, say it with me. Say, roll the dice, give it a throw, call for Chance, and watch him go. Whoa, there you are, Chance. Friends, can you guys wave and say, hi, Chance. Oh, hi there. Chance, we really need your help. We're trying to figure out our missing clues for our Bible story today. Do you think you can help us? You betcha. Roll with me. I think I saw some clues over here. Now, friends, remember, we're looking for our three missing clues. We have two friends, a friendship bracelet, and some wheat. So let's put our hands together like this and roll on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Number four. Let's see if our missing clue is under there. There. It looks like it's our two friends. Great job. Are you guys ready for our next clue? Yes. Let's roll the dice together. Ready? One, two, three. It's a number six. Let's see if our missing clue is under there. Hmm. It looks like it's a bicycle. I don't think that's the clue we're looking for. Let's try again. Ready? One, two, three. A number three. Let's see if our missing clue is under there. Look, it's our friendship bracelet. Great job, friends. But we're still missing one more clue. Let's roll again and see where it's hiding. Ready? One, Two, three. Number one. Let's see if our last missing clue is under there. There it is, boys and girls. It's some wheat. That's our last clue. Great job. Wow, friends. Thank you for all your help today. We found all of our missing clues. We have two friends, a friendship bracelet, and some wheat. Do you guys know what that means? It means that we're talking about the amazing friendship of Ruth and Naomi. I think the best way to tell a story about friendship is with a friend. Oh, I have an idea. Let's go share the Bible story with our friend Georgia. Let's go. Hello? Come on in. Well, hi, Georgia. I'm so excited to see you today. You are? I'm so excited to see you too. But why are you excited to see me? Well, I'm excited to see you because this week's Bible story is all about friendship. And the best way to learn about friendship is with a friend. And you're my friend, Georgia. Oh, wow. That's true. I'm your friend. Miss Shakaya, what does it mean to be a friend? I know we're friends because we like to play, but what is that? Actually, Georgia, being a friend is so much more than that. You see, when God created us, he didn't want us to do life alone. So he gave us friends so that we can love them, care for them, and have fun with them. Oh, wow. That's a lot more than just playing games. You're right. Actually, our Bible story is about two friends in the Bible who are perfect examples of what friendship should look like. When we read about this story, we learn about two women named Ruth and Naomi. Ruth? That's a really cool name. It really is. Anyways, Naomi faced some really difficult and sad things in her life. And during that time, Ruth could have chosen to go home to her family, but instead, Ruth chose to stay with her friend Naomi and care for her during her saddest days. She told her, where you go, I will go. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Miss Jakaya, what does that mean? That means that Ruth promised to stick with her friend through good and the bad. 
because God gave Naomi to Ruth as a friend, and that's what we do for friends. Oh, so when God gives me friends, I should help them when they're sad? Exactly, Georgia. God gives us friends, so it's our job to be good friends to them. And that's actually our big idea today. God gives me friends. Boys and girls, can you guys do that with me? Say God. God. Gives me. Gives me. Friends. Friends. Well, great job, friends. And thanks for hanging out with us today. Remember, God gave you friends, and it's your job to connect with them. Well, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.